Hey guys, today I want to give you a little bit more information about the Nitro uh, 90 coming up from Tron, the Burt Camera Edition Nitro 90. Anyhow, what we've done is we've taken a very well-proven design, which is the Nitron 90, and we've made a few changes. So first of all, we have um, a clear anodized canopy um, and a clear anodized fully painted boom. There's going to be also more colors available. This is the first color to be released in stock form. No longer matte or semi-gloss, full gloss, so easier to clean, especially on a nitro. We also have fully painted boom and tail fin. By the way, this is a very early prototype, so the final production version might have a few changes. I know for a fact, for example, that the tail fin will be blue instead of white, but it's a fully painted fin. There's no stickers or anything like that. We also went with a clear anodized tail rotor and main rotor. And you know, back in the day, this was pretty popular. Everybody all, all of a sudden started to, to go to the black anodized. I like this, kind of gives it a retro look. Other than that, we've made some really important changes to the mechanics. So it's a brand new clutch now. The clutch is a lot more durable. It's a totally different clutch design. Also, there's an aluminum fan in here instead of the plastic fan. It only added two more grams of weight, which is really nothing. But now you have a fan that will literally last you forever. Um, then again this is an early prototype so it still does not have it but we're going to have a switch option here so you're going to be able to run either the xguard switch or the expert switch which are the only two switches we recommend because they're the most the safest switches to use and you also be able to use a if you don't want to use those switches but you want the ability to turn it you know plug it in and unplug it um, without removing the canopy we'll also provide xd30 style jumper that you can plug and unplug that way you don't have to remove the canopy to power it on or off. If you don't mind removing the canopy and you don't want to mess with the switch, now we're going to be offering supersonic mounts on all four posts. So instead of having the grommets in the front and the supersonic mounts in the rear, it's all supersonic mounts throughout. This kit will also come with a um, micro servo adapter for the throttle servo. I personally like to run a micro servo. It's lighter and you really don't need any torque. You don't need anything fancy to move your carburetor barrel. So if you don't want to use the micro adapter and you want to use a full size servo, you can do that as what well. Else? And as we move back from this point, we have a much better tail push rod. We're now using a Teflon insert. So if you guys fly in the west part of the states uh, where there's a lot of sand, like in the desert, Arizona, Utah, whatever, or overseas in Dubai or somewhere like that, where there's a lot of Dirt. We even have it in Florida. We have sand, sugar sand, we call it. And with the nitro, it sticks to the tail push rod. It wears it in no time. With this Teflon insert, no more problems there. And then right here on the tail, we have a new idler pulley, which actually eliminates the tail belt slap and it makes the tail more responsive. The original version does not have that. I'm sure all these parts will be sold as upgrades if you don't want to get one of these and you just want to upgrade yours. But anyhow, check it out. Coming very soon from Tron Helicopters, the Burt Camera Edition Nitron 90.